Welcome back to the Caspa Silver YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how to use Casware. If you don't know what Casware is, this is a Google Chrome extension wallet for Caspa. I believe this is actually the first one that's ever been created for Caspa and it is completely open source. There is a GitHub, so you can go ahead and analyze the code if you want. I did reach out to Coder of Stuff and asked him if he is going to be reviewing this code, and he said that he will take a look at it when he does have time. But nonetheless, this is fully open source. People have been using it, and also the Casware developers have been working with Casplex to integrate uh, Casware to support KRC20 tokens, and nfts and all that kind of stuff in the future so castware developers are completely third party and have nothing to do with the core developers of caspa but if you do want to get into contact with one of the main people behind it his name is sean and he's on the discord and he's a very cool guy and really helpful with this wallet so if you want to kind of help with testing and all that kind of stuff you can go and reach out to sean he's on the caspa discord so to begin we're first gonna have to download this wallet you'll just go ahead and click right here the google chrome logo and it'll take you to a page that looks just like this you then click add to chrome and then click add extension and then it should pop up on the top right here and automatically open up a new tab. If it doesn't automatically open up a new tab, you can go ahead and click the puzzle piece here, go to where it says Casware wallet. You might wanna pin that so that it's in the top right, and then you can click it, and then it will look like this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and head back over here, but I'll show you how you can actually expand this into a larger screen if you are not able to get to this larger screen in the very beginning. So what you're gonna to want to do is you have two options and you can choose to create a wallet or import a wallet. I do want to show you what Casware already supports. So whichever one you choose, Casware is going to make you create a password to access the wallet. And this can be whatever you want. And I'm going to just put a pin code here. And then once we're in here, you could see all the different wallets that Casware actually supports so that you can import seed phrases. So you have the, of course, the Casware wallet seed phrase. You have Caspium, Caspanet, Web Wallet, KDX, the Cly Wallet, OKX Wallet, Ledger, and OneKey. Now, mind you, if you are going to import the seed phrases from cold storage devices like OneKey or Ledger, please only do this if it's absolutely necessary. Because once you import a seed phrase from Ledger or OneKey, you have now made your seed phrase um, exposed to the internet and it is no longer considered a cold storage uh, seed phrase. It is now a hot wallet because you imported the seed phrase on a device that's connected to the internet. So please only import those seed phrases if it's absolutely necessary, like your device stopped working, you need to access your funds so you can move it to a brand new device. Other than that, don't just import it because you just want to test and make sure that if you were to lose your device, you can import it in here. Um, there, this has been tested out and it does work. And I'll go ahead and do my own personal testing as well and probably leave info on that if i do find anywhere that it doesn't work if you were to import your seed phrase from these things but honestly i'm not going to be testing it on my main funds because that wouldn't be smart you don't want to expose your seed phrase to the internet at all so i'm going to go back here because i don't have a seed phrase to import and click create new wallet so if you choose the 12 word seed phrase mind you this 12 word seed phrase can only be imported back into Casware. it is not going to be working with caspium and i don't believe it works with any other wallets either if you want the seed phrase to work with caspium you would have to choose the 24 words one but i'm just going to use the 12 word one just as a test here because i'm not going to be saving it Casware also supports passphrase and this is an optional thing you could do but this is just like a second security layer on your seed phrase so if you were to add a passphrase you could see here that if i was to put any kind of characters in here it's changing the address that it's gonna defaultly create when i make this wallet here so if someone was to steal your seed phrase and you never wrote this passphrase down anywhere and you kind of just keep it in your brain then no one can access your funds still because just having your seed phrase isn't enough because you have a passphrase that's associated to that seed phrase now so this is just like an extra security layer for your funds so i'm gonna just leave it blank because i'm just doing this for testing here 
And now I'm going to show you how you can expand the wallet into this big screen. If you are stuck in this little screen right here, you can go ahead and head over to the settings and then you will just click expand view. And that way, now you can see the Casper wallet in a big screen, just like over here. So now I'm going to be showing you guys what you can do with this wallet. And we're going to first head over to the settings. And the first thing you could do is add contacts to this wallet. This allows you to quickly access individuals that you want to send Casper to. You can add a name and then you can also add the Casper address for that individual. Next, you can connect sites to Casper when this is fully supported. I don't think it is fully supported yet because there's not really any kind of websites that are linked with Casper yet because that hasn't really been built out yet. But when it does happen, Casper looks like they want to support it right away. The third thing you could do is choose the network you are on. This is the default Casper mainnet network. This is your node right here. And this is how you can actually change the node URL if you are having troubles. Sometimes there's other URLs that you could put in that are public that lets you access the Casper network node so that Casper can run smoothly if you are having problems with this mainnet public node. The next thing here is the Casper testnet. This allows you to test 10 blocks per second on Casper. You can even get Casper test um, type of Casper so you can move it around and stuff like that and just test the 10 blocks per second. And then they have a Casper DevNet. So these two networks are just for testing purposes and are not the main network that Casper is running right now. Next, we have different languages. There's not a ton right now, but currently we have English. And then it looks like we have um, Chinese as well. Then we have here to change the password of your Casper wallet. So if you were to forget the password or you want to change the password, the only way you could fix this if you forget your password is to delete the Casper extension because then you just need to import your seed phrase and you will just create a brand new password. But if you do want to just change it and you still remember it, you would have to put the current one, put the new one and then confirm it. And then you can also right here, just lock Casper down so that no one can access it on your desktop. If they do come up to it, they would need to know the password to unlock it and get into the Casper wallet. So next, we're going to go ahead and cover what you could do with the wallet settings. So here is where you can create additional wallets. Now, this isn't creating additional addresses that are associated to your seed phrase. This is creating additional brand new wallets. If I click add here, you can see I can create a new wallet with a brand new seed phrase. I can import a seed phrase or I can import it with a private key. And this is what you can do in these settings right here. You can also click this right here and edit the name of your wallet. And this is where you can show the seed phrase that is associated to your wallet. When you click that, you just need to put in the password and then it will show the seed phrase there for you. And then last but not least, you can remove the wallet. Now, if you want to get the private key for the account, if you click where it says account one right here, this is where you can actually create additional addresses or different accounts that are all associated to the same seed phrase. So if I click on the top right here, this is where I can click new account and I can name it whatever I want. So I'll just put new create account. And now if I go here, this is a brand new address that is associated to the same exact seed phrase here. I can click discover address. So that's if in the case that I import my seed phrase to a brand new cast where extension wallet, I could just click discover addresses and it'll find all the addresses that has a balance on them. And then last but not least, you can compound your addresses or your balance on different addresses to be all in one singular address. So that's what you could do if you click the top icon right here for different settings. If you were to click this icon right here, this will allow you to edit the name and also it will allow you to copy the address. And then lastly, it will also allow you to export the private key. Now that private key is going to be protected with your password. So you can't access it unless you put the password in, but then it's going to be this line of code. It's called a hex private key. And this is just another way that you can actually basically kind of like import 
your seed phrase into Casper, but it does say here, if you ever change browser or move computers, you will need this private key to access this account, save it somewhere safe and secret. All right. So other than that, that's pretty much it. When it comes to what you could do with Casper, you obviously have the normal receive and send uh, like normal. And also you can copy your address right here. And then you can also see your UTXO activity. And so that's basically all you could do with Casper with the official version. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, subscribe to this channel if you guys are new on here. And as always, don't be average, be different.